Hey, sir, what is Poppin' Space Academy? It's your boy, Loke, in the building once again. You know, solo dolo act today, and I'm here to give y'all the latest trends and updates happening in everything pop culture today. You know what I'm saying? I got my spring shirt on, you know what I'm saying? It's very hot out here, so let's get right into it. Now, let me start y'all off, you know what I'm saying, with some music news. Now, let's jump right into the whole Spotify wrapped movement, you know what I'm saying? Now, I personally didn't peep Drake's stats, you know, and he was sitting at 11.5 billion streams, you know, and I was like, okay, that's pretty crazy, you know, that's Drake, it makes sense. And then I went to bump into Taylor Swift's streams which was sitting at 23.2 billion you know what i'm saying so taylor swift then doubled drake streams you know what i'm saying i mean it makes sense because we all know that taylor swift is always going crazy in terms of numbers and streams you know so it kind of makes sense but i think it's really crazy that she took drake's numbers and literally doubled them you know and i also did bump into a couple of uh local spotify rap you know what i'm saying uh lucas raps are sitting at 1.5 million streams which is pretty dope you know what i'm saying that's quite a lot so big shout out to him and k keed who are sitting at 5.6 million streams you know k keed had a crazy run this year you know what i'm saying been dropping a whole bunch of shit some singles some spotify's um fuck some singles, some music videos, you know what I'm saying? And she been really, really, really doing her thing. A couple features as well. So yeah, that kind of makes sense to me. I want y'all to let us know in the comment section how y'all are feeling about the whole Spotify rap thing. Do y'all think it's necessary? You know, do y'all think it's uh, artists basically showing their reports at the end of the year? Like, this is what I did this year, you know what I'm saying? Is it something that people should really look at and care about? Or is it just the direction that we're moving in in terms of music and, you know, just recording the streams that people are making so let us know in this comment section how y'all are feeling about that uh, sir now let's move on to our international superstar tyler you know what i'm saying who came out with some news now she has announced her debut album titled tyler and a world tour that is set to take place next year you know what i'm saying now tyler has really really pushed her career this year and she did state that she's been working on her sound for two years now so i think it's really dope that she's finally ready to give the world uh you know a body of work you know what i'm saying and you know we all know the whole feature run the travis um remix the marshmallow remix so you know her rollout was also pretty dope you know so i think it's also crazy that she's coming with a world tour next year this really shows how much of an impact she has made this year and i think that next year she's only going up you know what i'm saying so big shout out to tyler on that make sure to catch the album when it does drop make sure to tap into the world tour next year we're going crazy yes eh, sir now let's move into some local music news you know what i'm saying now a video of blackie in studio with domani surfaced you know showing him lacing a hook um for domani's track titled lessons off of his before the ink dries ep you know what i'm saying i think this was you know about time it happened you know nasty c already did the whole feature run with domani so i think it's dope that blackie hopped on that you know what i'm saying and the r&b track was sounding pretty smooth you know what i'm saying let us know if you're also looking forward to r&b blackie to drop more shit you know what i'm saying we all know he goes crazy with that genre so yeah speaking of blackie he also dropped a fire 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 track accompanied with some visuals titled back into it you know what i'm saying now the track is dope i personally fuck with it you know what i'm saying i did let y'all know how i felt about you know the previous one that he dropped but now after he dropped this one i was like okay you know black is still coming with some fire you know what i'm saying this one was a really dope one i really fuck with the visuals as well big shout out to shala the unicorn for directing that video um i also know that the song entered the top 10 hip-hop songs on apple music you know what i'm saying so he's going really really crazy but he's not done i also know that he's coming with blackout festival in durban you know what i'm saying but the catch is this is only happening next year on the 23rd of november now blackie is literally giving y'all a whole year to get your trancy to get your ticket money to get your crash spot in order make sure that you set you know what i'm saying for that blackout festival but that's happening in durban so i'm glad that we're bringing something dope you know to durban as well so yeah make sure to tap into that if you're fucking with blackout festival next year 23rd of november let's go now i also know that cash cpt came together with frank casino and pretty ugly to drop a song and visuals titled give me life and we know that it's produced by none other than award-winning producer mash 
beats you know what i'm saying the visuals is looking crazy i feel like hash cpt also had a pretty dope run you know he did a whole bunch of features he didn't drop some really 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 dope music this year so yeah make sure to tap into that if you ain't tap in pretty ugly also so i had a really really good feature run you know what i'm saying so i think it's really dope how these artists are collaborating and coming together frank casino is the one we haven't heard from in a minute so you know hopefully this is him you know coming out and gonna drop a few more you know hits you know in the foreseeable future so let us know in the comment section how y'all are feeling about that j6 also dropped the project titled with love six and the project has a really really dope roster on it you know we have features from bello salo the big hash tyson st solo say horrid the messiah and many 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 more so make sure to tap into that j6 is a really really dope ass producer make sure to tap in if you ain't tap in you heard now speaking of the underground scene we all know that space impact with official media partners at this past weekend's miles of rage now this was really going crazy you know what i'm saying we was tapped in on arrival we were selling merch niggas was really fucking with it you know what i'm saying we had the banners up y'all will see all of this you know what i'm saying in the vlog that's dropping today make sure to tap into that that is a whole journey, you know what I'm saying? You get to see shit that, you know, no one has seen before, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be really, really fire. We got a little bit of special exclusives in there, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that y'all will never expect. So make sure to tap into the vlog. Make sure to tap into the vlog. But big shout out to Miles of Rage. We was there. We did a whole lot of shit. The energy was crazy. All the performances were fucking crazy, you know what I'm saying? My personal favorite, you know, Parker. Parker, you know you held it down. Parker really held it down. But also Katana. Katana's one was really crazy, you know. A lot of niggas had really dope ones, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with Plus one, two, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cooper's wow, that was really going fire, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let us know in the comment section if y'all were tapped in at Miles of Rage, if y'all were fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Did they, did they really up the standard from last time or was it the same vibe? Let us know, you know. Interact with us. Let us know how y'all are feeling about these. And yes, sir. Now, let's move into some trending topics, you know. Now, we all know that after a decade of waiting, GTA has come with the trailer for GTA 6, you know what I'm saying? Now, this was on 81 million views in just 20 hours, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, I personally did say this. I saw this coming. I knew that everybody was very, very excited for this, you know. And when I watched the trailer, I was like, okay, I see. I see the direction that they're taking it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really fucking with the more updated version of things. You know what I'm saying? They got, they got the whole live streams in there. They got more recent shit, you know, some shit that you'd expect in today's day and age, you know. So I'm really fucking with that. But, you know, the fact that they're only dropping this in 2025, like, Y'all should have then dropped the trailer next year, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think the hype is really, really, really dope. You know, people are fucking with it. And it actually incorporates real life locations, which I think is really, really fire, you know what I'm saying? So big shout out to the Rockstar Games team, you know what I'm saying? They're really going crazy right now. 2025, we're getting GTA 6. It's about damn time. So tap in. Now, let's go into the underground music drops, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell ya that Tay Tanner came out with a project titled Bandman, but he ain't the only one that's been dropping some projects, you know what I'm saying? We also have Baby Lowski who came with a project titled Chosen, you get me? We also have Bipolar who dropped a project titled Prevail. We also have Brother Cooper who went live, you know, and had the fans going crazy as he was previewing a couple really, really, really fire snippets, you know what I'm saying? The fans was in the comment section there saying, drop Cooper, drop Cooper, you know, they were really spamming there, so we know that they're really looking forward to this. So I don't know, maybe Cooper's telling us that he might just drop something before the year ends, or maybe this is some shit that's coming early next day, you know what I'm saying? So let us know in the comment section how y'all are feeling about that. And then we have Jay Katana who also dropped World Boss, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to check out our Space Impact New Music Fridays. This is where we give y'all all of these updates and you can check all of them out, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, keep running up the music. Niggas are going crazy right now. Yes, sir. Now, let's move into some fashion news, you know what I'm saying? Now, earlier in the year, I remember I done updated y'all on the man new Rich Amnesia and Adidas collab kit that was available on FIFA. Now I'm here to tell y'all that they've dropped the Pride Kit in collaboration with Man U and another set in collaboration with Celtic FC, you know what I'm saying? I think that shit is looking way, way, way better in real life, you know what I'm saying? That shit is looking clean. So let us know in the comment section if y'all are fucking with it. 
I really fuck with the color. I did say that time that I really fuck with the logo on the chest. You know what I'm saying? The different colors that they incorporated there. It's looking really nice. It's looking vibrant. Nice color contrast. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if y'all are fucking with this and if y'all would actually tap in and cop with this kit. You know what I'm saying? Now we also have Supreme who's set to drop its holiday BOGO apparel which was modeled by Nigo. you know what I'm saying? Now the piece has a camo logo design which I think is, you know, pretty simple. You know Supreme like to keep it simple. They don't really go crazy like that, you know. But yeah, this is going to feature various colors, you know what I'm saying? And this will be dropping on the 7th of December which is right now, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, if you really fuck with Supreme like that, make sure to tap in on the 7th of December and you can order yourself a holiday BOGO apparel, you know what I'm saying? We also have Against Society who is set to launch their website sometime this month, you know what I'm saying? Don't ask us how we know, we just know this shit, okay? This is exclusive shit we're telling y'all right now. So y'all stay out on the lookout for that. You know, I have a feeling they're gonna come with some really, really crazy shit. So big shout out to Against Society for that one, man. Now, more on fashion news, you know what I'm saying? Now, Black Coffee and Euphonic, you know, have teamed up with retail pioneer, you know, Ari Fabian and Amiri to launch the official Amiri store in South Africa. This is the first official Amiri store in South Africa, you know what I'm saying? Now, the store was launched at its location in the Diamond Walk luxury clothing section of the famous Santon City Mall, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If you niggas got the money for Amiri, go to Santon City Mall, Diamond Walk, you know what I'm saying? And you can get yourself some Amiri. Yes, sir. Now, Audemars Piguet also came with a collaboration with Cactus Jack. And I was really, really excited about this. You know, I'm really fucking with the design of that timepiece, you know. I really like how they incorporated the Cactus Jack logos into that. I think it was looking really fire. So, big shout out to both parties that were involved in that. And following this, you know, they delivered a really dope apparel and accessory collection, which is available for pre-order. So, if you're fucking with the Cactus Jack and the Audemars Piguet, collaboration you know make sure to tap into that if you ain't tapping yes hey, sir yes hey, sir and this has been space impact news with your boy loke in the building you know what i'm saying catch us here same time same place next week please 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 don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the post notification and share this shit with everybody you know because we're really going crazy right now i personally feel like we had a really really good year you know what i'm saying so yeah we're only gonna come harder next year pause you know what i'm saying but big shout out to masa aqua and big shout out to r lee for holding the boys down keeping us hydrated and high all the time you know what i'm saying space impact news loke and i'm gone